Hello and welcome to this Legend of Zelda playthrough. My name is Gabriel from Renaissance Gaming and I will be doing a 100% playthrough of this game. In addition to getting all of the items and secret rupee locations, I will also be passing through all of the old man screens to point out some iconic Legend of Zelda quotes. If you're watching this just as a walkthrough, I'll show you how to efficiently beat the game, or if you're just watching this for fun, I'll be sure to keep you entertained and inform you with a bunch of Zelda trivia. This screen here uses some terrible grammar to try and explain the story of the game, but let me go ahead and tell you the storyline from what is actually written in the manual since it goes a bit more in depth. So there's a legend that speaks of a Triforce which are golden triangles with mystical powers. An evil army led by Ganon invaded Hyrule and stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda, fearing Ganon's rule, split up the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hid them throughout the land. She also sent off her nursemaid named Impa to find a brave man to destroy Ganon. Ganon found out what Zelda did and imprisoned her, and he also sent out some evil henchmen to kill Impa. And just as they surrounded her, Link appeared to save the day. Impa decided that he was the brave hero that Zelda was looking for, and Link agreed to restore the Triforce of Wisdom and fight Ganon. So that's pretty much what's going to be happening in this game. We will be restoring the Triforce of Wisdom and rescuing Zelda from Ganon's imprisonment. And it's also interesting to note that there is no mention of the Triforce of Power in this game. It's actually brought up for the first time in the series in the next game, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. So with that in mind, the storyline behind us, let's go ahead and get started with this game. And right off the bat, you can go in here and get the wooden sword from probably one of the most iconic Zelda screens in all of Zelda. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And you get a free wooden sword from that old man with a very long mustache. And here you will encounter the first enemy in all of Legend of Zelda. It's called an Octorok, and they're pretty much an octopus creature that lives above land, and they shoot rocks at you. And right away you meet another new enemy called the Tektite, and they're spider-like creatures that pretty much bounce around. And they tend to bounce right as your sword's about to hit them. And they always dodge death, just like that. It can be quite annoying, but I'm doing a pretty good job here. And there's yet other new enemies here. These are levers coming out of the ground. They usually live in sandy areas and they make appearances in multiple Zelda games. You'll probably remember being frustrated by them outside of the Spirit Temple in Ocarina of Time. But they're not too bad to deal with in this game. And this dragon-like creature coming out of the water and shooting energy orbs at me is actually called the Zola. And the manual describes uh, the Zola as half fish, half woman. So pretty much an evil mermaid. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to collect 20 rupees so I can buy some bombs. And the bombs will allow me to get a bunch of secrets. They'll allow me to get a bunch of rupees and heart pieces and a bunch of other stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Going all the way east in the north one screen. And that cave right there contains the bombs. These Octoroks are pretty fun to kill, they kind of explode when you hit them. It's fun to watch. So here's a merchant and he sells some goodies, but really I'm only interested in the bombs for now. And right away I'm going to put them to use and get the first heart of the game. And unlike a lot of the Zelda games where you need four or five heart pieces to get another actual heart in the game, in this game each heart that you get gives you an extra heart. So it's pretty good. And I'll be getting the first one here. And I can use the bomb to access this cave. And they actually give you an option here. You can either get some medicine, or you can get the heart. And hopefully you don't have too much of a hard time making a decision here. And in this screen we meet a new enemy, it's called the Moblin, and they're bulldog-like goblins that throw spears at you. Even though they look like arrows, they're actually spears according to the manual. And I'm making my way over to a second heart piece. And it's right here in this rock. And I can bomb it. And axis. And this time I'm actually going to go ahead and take the medicine. Yeah, I'll take the medicine. Nah, I'm not stupid. I'm getting the heart. I'm getting the heart. I'm not stupid. If you're stupid and you got the medicine instead of the heart, go ahead and hit the unsubscribe button because I want absolutely nothing to do with you. But let's continue. Right here is the first secret rupee location. You will meet an angry moblin who you think will eat you if you steal his rupees, but he doesn't. He just simply offers you a free 30 rupees. So no complaints there, free money. I love money. 
This here is a pea hat. It's another new enemy, and it's described as the ghost of a flower. And they move around pretty obnoxiously, and you can only hit them when they're stopped. I usually don't even bother with them. In this cave, you get the letter. And just as this old man says, if you show this to the old woman, she will sell you some medicine. And I will be showing you what that's all about here later on in this video. But first things first, we are going to my favorite screen in the game. And it's right here, there is a secret passage on the north uh, rock cliff here. Bam, right there. And it leads you to this little uh, house, I guess. And there's a, another moblin with rupees here, and gives you 100 rupees, that's a lot of money for free. I love money, so no complaints there either. So while I'm heading to some more rupees, let me just mention that unlike most of the playthroughs on my channel, since I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan, I'm doing this a little bit differently. I'm recording the audio after I, um, I've done the playthrough. And I'll talk a bit more about that later on. But here's another new enemy, it's called an Armos, and they're described as soldiers who have been turned into stone. They show up in a lot of Zelda games, but if you touch them like that, they'll just move. And right here is another secret rupee locations, and it gives you 30 rupees. Very nice. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm recording the audio after I've done the playthrough, and that's because, like I said, I'm a giant Legend of Zelda fan, and I wanted to try a perfect playthrough without ever getting hit. So it took a lot of recordings, a lot of attempts, a lot of multiple trials, and I pretty much just did that and spliced everything together with some video editing. And this is the final result, I had a lot of fun doing it, and I was able to pull off this uh, playthrough without getting hit. I had a lot of fun, and I'll see how it turns out. I don't know if I'll continue to do that for some other games, but we'll see how it turns out. And right now I'm heading to get some more rupees. And right here on this screen there's a secret rupee location that I can expose with some bombs. And it's right here. Right there, 30 rupees. And right here on this next screen, there's a shop where I'll be buying the blue candle. The blue candle allows you to burn bushes, and right now it's an investment of 60 rupees, but it will allow you to reveal a bunch of secret locations where you can get a bunch more rupees, so it's definitely worth it. And since I'm over here, I'm actually going to be showing you one of the uh, old woman screens that uh, the old man mentioned with the letter, just so you can see what this is all about. There are multiple old women in the game, but I will only be showing you a few of them if I run by them, since the screens are pretty much the same. So like the old man said, show her the letter, like this, and she will offer to sell you medicine. The blue medicine restores some of your hearts, the red medicine restores all of your hearts. I personally never use the medicine, I find that I don't need it, and I also think that lady looks a bit like a hag, so I w really wouldn't trust anything she's selling, but that's up to you to decide. I just wouldn't want to drink anything she's made, could be a witch's brew, who knows. And here I am going to show you how the blue candle works, and get the first secret rupee location. You can pull a Moses, get the burning bush going, and here you got some money. Only 10 rupees, but every bit counts. And right here, we can buy the magical shield. It's an upgrade from the wooden shield, and it costs 90 rupees. And pretty much, it will allow you to block a bunch of different attacks, including those little energy orbs that the Zola uh, spit at you. Previously, you couldn't block that, but now you can. And this is the third heart of the game. So I'm trying to get a bunch of upgrades before I even start doing the dungeons, and that will really help out because some of the dungeons can be quite challenging, and you want to be as prepared as possible for them. So like I've said, I'm a huge uh, Legend of Zelda fan, and this is the first step in a huge adventure. I plan on doing all of the Zelda games to 100% completion on my channel, so I hope you'll join me for that and subscribe if you like Legend of Zelda be doing all of the games. It's gonna be great. 
So this is just step number one of a huge adventure. Actually, right after this game, you can do the second playthrough of this game. Once you beat it once, you can play again with some increased difficulty. The dungeons change, and they call it The Legend of Zelda, the second quest, pretty much. And I've already recorded that, and I'll be uploading it as soon as I'm done uploading this one. Here's another old lady screen. Like I said, there's a bunch of these screens throughout the game, and I'm really just showing this one because I was running by it, but I'm not going to show all of them because they're pretty much repetitive. But the last thing I'm going to be doing in this video is getting the white sword, and you cannot get the white sword unless you have a certain number of hearts. So if you have not gotten to three hearts like I have, you probably will not be able to get this sword until later on. It's right up here on this mountain. And the cave is guarded by this new enemy called the Lionel. And these guys hang out near Death Mountain, which is where Ganon is. So they pretty much give you a hint as to where he is. The more there are, the closer you are to Death Mountain. But that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me. Join me for the next one.